hello everyone welcome back to techno charts youtube channel and in today's video i am going to talk about how we can automate the strategy that i've mentioned the intraday strangle for consistent income in quantiply so basically i have shared the uh, sign up link for quantiply in the description below you can use that link to sign up and then follow the procedure so basically once you click on sign up you will see a screen like this and uh, this is personally a demo account that i am showing you right now where you can set up uh, the strategy and i'll show you the entire process of once you uh, follow the entire process basically then you can automate the strategy from even tomorrow it itself and then trade it so basically this is a demo account i will go to my account and firstly i will have to add the address without adding address i cannot move on to the further process so you have to go and add address here let's say that i am adding an address and uh, i would ra and randomly do and add the pin code so once i have added the address you can see that address is updated uh, successfully so after adding address i'll have to go to the billing section now uh, as you all know that we are trading of we are trading around two strategies and uh, you can add uh, around 2000 credits for uh, the quantiply setup and the remaining amount of credits would be there in your own account and you can click on auto renew so that you don't have to remember uh, to renew the account or renew the subscription again and again uh, so that you do not miss the trades and all right so once i click on 2000 uh, uh, once i type 2000 and click on buy credits basically then uh, once i click on buy credits you can pay the amount uh, by using upi or by using any of the uh, links that is there so you'll see a screen like this and you can pay the amount uh, however you want right so once i have added the credits you will see that the number of credits here the are, are added as around 2000 rupees then after adding 2000 rupees i will go to manage subscription so initially i have uh, we can there is a known as a starter pack that is there but we have to use around uh we have to use around three algos or two algos basically you can use an additional algo to design your own strategy so we will click on three algos per day and click on subscribe so personally i use the pro plan uh, pro plus uh, i use around 12 strategies in my personal account basically so i am paying around 3500 or more than that basically for the algos that i run in my personal or uh, two two account that is there so once you click on uh, or once you have subscribed to the semi pro plan that is there you can click on auto renew as well and you can uh, you do not have to remember basically the uh, how to renew the plan again and again so it's important that you use the link in the description below and sign up and uh, add uh, 2000 credits in your account basically and then uh, move on to the further place so once you do that then we uh, comes the next part where we are integrating the broker that is there right so as it is you can click on uh, broker setup that is there here so once i click on broker setup i can clearly see that there are uh, uh, many brokers available as of now such such as upstock zeroda ifl angel one and finvasia so uh, whatever the broker is that uh, that you want to uh, connect your account with basically you'll have to watch the setup tutorial video that is available and just click on that link so once i click on this link you will see that a new tab will open and you have to just follow the steps that is there here uh, in the video and once you follow the step your account would be connected now if you are using zeroda then you need to pay 2000 rupees to zeroda also for running the algo and if you are using angel one then basically uh, angel one ifl finvasia you do not have to pay any kind of money to run the algo and finvasia provides zero brokerage so if you are having uh, or if you want to open an account in angel one you can use the link in the description below and then dm me uh, i would give you a personalized strategy strategy according to your own basket once you open an account using the link that is there in the description below right so let's move on to the next process of uh, basically creating the strategy here now uh, as you know the first strategy that is there is on 9 30 am 9 30 am we are uh, 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 9 30 am we are selecting the two uh, 200 rupees cpr that is the closest premium range with a stop loss of 40 percent per leg and sl is moved to, to cost now this strategy is traded every day except thursday and it is a loss making strategy in reverse side. now uh, to remind you that i am talking about the strategy that is here now for which the link is there in the i button as well as in the a description below you need to watch the video then only you will understand what i am trying here or what i am explaining here so go to plus and here is the option of creating a strategy now let's name the strategy as 9 30 am 
CPR 200. That means at 9.30 am that uh, I am putting a uh, closest premium range that is two, uh, 200 rupees, right? So that I understand it basically or I can type S1 9.30 am CPR 200 and currently we are doing a short that is there the sell bank nifty option segment and quantity is one lot. So I have added one lot. Now I have added the call option uh, uh, sell position right so this is MIS and NRML MIS means that I am putting an intraday order and NR NRML is basically a normal order or a carry forward order so I will be selecting an MIS order and now I want to short put position right so I will add on add leg here so you can clearly see that ATM call ATM put has been added now our task is to use or select the premiums that are closest to 200 rupees right so I am going to select pre premium that is close to and I will select here or I would type here 200 done now similarly I would select premium close to and type here 200 done so once I have added here the next part comes of putting the stop loss so as you can clearly see that the 40% SL is leg uh, SL is there on per leg and SL is moved to cost now here I have to select SL percentages that is 40% that I have to select SL percentages and that is 40% that I have to select basically now and I have to select what uh, SL is moved to cost here so every time my SL uh, uh, my one side stop loss gets hit the other side stop loss would be moved to cost the start time of the strategy is basically you know 9.30 am so I would select 9.30 am here and the end time is what is the end time 3 pm so we will select 1500 now after that M2M target we do not have an M2M target we do not have an M2M stop loss so these is not of any use as of now and I have to select here no matching of premium so this is a very important thing that you have to remember that this has to be no matching of premium. Now uh, what is the entry order type entry order type is market order so we are entering into stocks that are with uh, uh, sorry, not stocks sorry uh, we are entering into bank nifty with uh, entry order options with entry order now exit order has to be important it has to be stop loss limit order only and we would be putting points stop losses uh, limit order that are five points so we are entering uh, with a five point uh, SL limit order so that even if there is a spike let's say now in that case our SL would maximally get triggered at with, within a five point difference but generally it does not happen and exit with market order if order opens for n seconds so this is a risk management system let's say that if your limit price also gets uh, skipped then in that case within 5 seconds whatever the market price is you will yeah, the stop loss would exit at that price whatever in the within the 5 seconds now entry order delay we do not have any kind of uh, uh, delay in the order and we do not have any kind of delay in the exit order and we have to calculate the entry from uh, the average entry price uh, entry price basically and not from LTP so this is calculate entry from uh, calculate entry from average entry price calculate exit from average exit price and trailing frequency so let's say that once uh, in future you have added any kind of stop losses into your system uh, trailing stop losses specifically then I would have to select seconds and minimum I would have to select seven seconds so the trailing stop loss system would get activated for every seven seconds now uh, currently we do not have any kind of stop losses into the system that is the trailing stop loss into the system but once uh, in case if I uh, share any kind of strategy in the future I would explain you how you can add the trailing stop losses and how it works so after this I would save the settings here once I have sa saved the settings you have to select your broker that is there in the uh, from your here once you click on the uh, bottom down then you, know, you, you will get an option to select your broker and just duplicate this strategy on every day. Now you know that we are not uh, trading this strategy on Thursday. So I am not duplicating this. I am not selecting this on Thursday. And then I am clicking on save. So basically once I have clicked on save you can clearly see that this strategy has been added into all my uh, days basically. And uh, for running the strategy I will have to click on enable. But right now as you know that I have not selected or I have not added the broker into my strategy. You can clearly see that I cannot enable the strategy. Now once you add the broker then only you can enable the strategy. Now let's run or let's design a, the second strategy that is there. So let's design the second strategy that is there. And uh, now we'll have to duplicate this. So if we duplicate this then we do not have to follow the entire process. So let's say that I am doing S2 here. 
and I will I would name the strategy. So this was my strategy one that is there, right? So let's go to second strategy that is or for only for Thursday that is there. That is Thursday hundred CPR, and time is ten a.m. Now uh, let's say that I want to name it as uh, S two at ten a.m. CPR hundred, and I would select only Thursday for duplication because I want this strategy only on Thursday. Now I would select here, go there, and put the same condition that we have done uh, for the first one, like selecting the strikes that are near hundred rupees, putting thirty percent SL and no SL move to cost. So let's go there and change the settings from two hundred to hundred here. Change the numbers from two hundred to hundred. We do not want to move SL to cost. Change the stop stop losses percentage to thirty percentage basically here. And uh, we are not moving SL at cost. So the start time would be 10 a.m. Just select, change the settings from uh, 9:30 to 10. End time. What is the end time that you have decided? End time is 3 p.m. or stop losses. So as you all know that uh, there is no stop loss here. As of uh, sorry, uh, the end time is 1500. So there is no need of changing the settings here. Now all the other settings would be the same, like SL limit order with five points trigger. And uh, the other settings that are there is uh, approximately our it's exactly the same from the first settings here. Now after I have done this, so I will click on save settings. Once I have selected on save settings, uh, you'll see that the strategy is saved and it is only getting it has only added it has been only added to Thursday here. Now if we want to add the third strategy here, that is, let's say that I want to add the third strategy and that is 11 a.m. 150 CPR. So what will, what is the now what is the process? I would duplicate this again. I would type here S3. I would select let's say I want to name it as 11 a.m. CPR 150 so that I understand what uh, the profit and loss of that strategy and duplicate this. So once I click on duplicate, I would change the settings for uh, I would change the numbers from 150 200 to 150 basically. Change the SL percentages uh, to 30 percentages 30 percent basically. and uh, change the timings to 11 a.m. to 15.25 other all those things are uh, similar like uh, nearest premium to 150 rupees 30 percent SL move to cost so we'll have to select SL move to cost now just go down and check it out whether the settings have been saved or not like limit order with five point difference and exit with market order if order opens for n seconds that is 5 seconds order delay no order delay no exit order delay average entry price average exit price basically and trailing stop losses so once uh, let's say that uh, in future if you add 10% or trailing stop loss for every 10% move my stop loss should move by 10% basically so I would be just putting this number like this 10% and 10% so this is just an example our original strategy does not have a trailing SL just a, a, a caution that I am giving you I am just showing you a variations of how you can code it in quantiply so once you click on this and you have you'll have to put a trailing frequency interval like for, for seven seconds now you cannot use minutes for trailing because in minutes your stop losses or your price would move drastically from one direction to direct uh, other direction yes that's why we are using seven seconds trailing stop losses and uh, putting stop losses but in our original strategy we do not have any kind of uh, trailing stop losses so i would put none here and then just uh, basically save the settings here and once i have saved the settings here you can see that the uh, s3 has been added here now i can duplicate this settings probably in all the on on the on all the days sorry so once I have uh, duplicated this settings on all the days, you can clearly see that uh, the algo has been set up. Now uh, you'll have to read the instru instructions basically for the uh, effective running of the algo. Now you'll have to do broker login every day before 9:55 a.m. into Quantiply so that uh, so that you do not miss the algo basically. And uh, it is really important that you have to you read all the settings or you read all the instructions that are there basically into the instructions page so that uh, you know how to handle queries or you know how to handle uh, moments where the broker go the, goes down so let me show you my real account now so as you have seen here uh, the settings you can watch the entire video again to understand it 
into a very simpler manner manner you can watch the video on into 0.5x probably to uh, follow the process entirely it is important that you use the link in the description below uh, so that you can uh, so that you can get that benefit right now i will log out and just log in in my personal account to show you today's position so as you can uh, clearly see that this is my personal position and uh, okay let me just hide uh, now you can clearly see that total m2m for uh, today was around 7400 probably this is not the real m2m for today because i faced extra 1000 rupees loss due to the issue that was there due uh, in finvetia so it's really important to understand that sometimes uh, orders can get rejected sometimes stop losses cannot will not get placed into the system even though it, it is any broker it the technical glitch can happen in any of the uh, in any of the brokers right so in the end it is a machine and machine can uh, definitely fail so it is really important that you keep on tracking the trade not like every second but like every 30 minutes or so so that you are uh, in uh, you, you can say so that you are under or you are knowing that yeah everything is going fine and there are no trades where there is any kind of issue so you can clearly see that order was cancelled due to a voluntary close out so there was an issue with finvet here today but uh, uh, this issue can definitely occur with uh, uh, zeroda it has already occurred with zeroda ifl in the previous in the past and uh, all the brokers are prone to such kind of uh, technical glitches so no one can help in that case probably so you'll have to this is an inbuilt risk that everyone has to take and uh, so this is my to, uh, today's position basically so as you can clearly see the strategy that i have shared right now uh, with, of uh, 200 cpr and of uh, let's say 150 cpr i use a combination of that strategy personally in my account where you can clearly see that premium greater than 130 that i've used right now and i trade with uh, let's say th uh, point sls and with different different times so you can clearly see on one leg that i have made around 6000 5600 on the other leg why stop loss was hit so this is one of the trades that i have tra uh, taken a uh, trade today now apart from that the, lots of clients uh, you can clearly see that uh, let me show you our whatsapp group where uh, our clients most of the clients made money uh, even though there was a volatility where markets moved up and then moved down and then in the end uh, at the end of the day the markets again moved up all right so you can clearly see the profits of today and uh, so this is uh, for example 7500 9500 and you can clearly see here 7500 and uh, lots of screenshot in our whatsapp groups basically right so uh, if you are a person uh, if you are a person basically or if you are a trader with around 15 20 lakh capital and want to scale up your trading uh, so you can use the link in the description below to message me on whatsapp or if you even if you have around uh, 7 to 8 lakh capital and want to start your trading journey basically in algo or algo trading then you can use the link in the description below to me message me on whatsapp and uh, yeah so if you like the video do share it with your friends and uh, uh, thank you and have a great day so do not forget to watch this video to understand uh, the strategy in a better manner so there are a lot of uh, option uh, videos that i have made uh, where i discuss where i discuss a lot about uh, intraday options trading and you can watch the live trading videos of my uh, option selling strategies here so this is one video that you can watch and thank you have a great day